What's up everybody and welcome to another full try to Nashville. Super bright right now. I'm basically staring directly into the sun. I'm recording on my way home from work instead of on my way to work because I've been procrastinating on recording this vlog. A, because I didn't really know what I wanted to talk about and B, this week has just been really busy and I didn't get time to do anything really special but I still have some stuff to talk about now. I'm, I'm not selling this vlog very well. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret here. Valentine's Day is really hard for me, and here's why. You know, you know that saying, whatever uh, doesn't kill me makes me stronger. Is it Abraham Lincoln that said that? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just attributing things to Abraham Lincoln. The saying for me should be, whatever doesn't kill me makes me more afraid of that the next time it happens. That's <laughs> that's my motto. Here, here's Valentine's Day for me. I would only dated one other person, seriously, uh, before I dated my wife. Um, now some of you might think, oh, Fultron, you're so sweet and so pure. No, I just, I have zero game. <laughs> so I didn't get that many opportunities. <laughs> when I met my wife, and it, like after we got married and we started doing, or even before we got married, you know, we're doing birthdays and Christmas and Valentine's Day, I was really, really bad at buying gifts. Really bad. And I, I don't know why, but I've never been good at it. It's hard for me to, to get in someone else's headspace and think, what would make them happy? I'm not good at that. One year, I bought my wife uh, Just Dance on Wii. Um, and for a wife that doesn't play video games, that wasn't exactly a, a home run. I also bought her a Wii Fit, which is wrong on so many, so many levels. I bought her a coat, and I was like, she's gonna love this. And it was like three sizes too big. So I'm not, I didn't do well. I did really, really bad. I did really bad gifts, super bad. And she was honest with me about uh, about the gift giving problems that I was having. You know, so I said, well, okay, you gotta, you gotta tell me, like give me ideas. You have to give me like a list of things that you want and I'll go buy you one of those things. And she's like, well, then it doesn't have any meaning. With her, it has to have like a meaning behind it. It has to have some kind of purpose behind it. And and I get that on an intellectual level. I am not great at accomplishing that at, by any means. I would do weird things like buy her movies, you know, things that I understand, things that I can comprehend. I'm like, well, if I was her, I would enjoy this. Or like, you know, she said she wanted this one time. And there's been a couple times where I've nailed it. A couple times where I've gotten it right because like she'll say, man, I really like such and such. And I'll be like, ding, 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 ding. And so I will go buy that as her next gift. With my wife, it's not the, it's not the physical handing of the gift. It's not the gift. It's the thought behind the gift. I don't care. I mean, if you hated me and still got me a gift, I'd love you. Because I don't care about that. I care about, good lord, this shadow right now, right? Can we like, can we make a, there we go. <laughs> is that not, that's not worth it. The bottom line is I'm super simple about, about gift giving. And so when it's time to give a gift, I'm like, I, what do you want? What do you want me to get you? And to my wife, that's like, that totally comes off to her is like, all right, what do you want now? Come on, let's just, let's get this over with. I got things to do, what do you want? And and so I had to start going into it being like, okay, let's, let's sit back for a little while. Let's think through what are things that my wife would want? What are some things that she would want? I think about her character. I have to think about who she is. I have to think about the things that she talks about every day the things that she looks at on Pinterest, the things that she uh, enjoys doing in her spare time, I have to start thinking through those things and start creating almost an algorithm of like, this is so like nerdy how I'm thinking through this, but it's just like I, I come up with this, this idea based on her likes and dislikes and what she spends time on. For this Valentine's Day, my wife and I, we had uh, one of the gifts that we got at our Christmas party for my work was $100 in cash just to spend on ourselves on whatever we wanted. And uh, and so we've been holding on to that. And then when Valentine's Day was you know approaching, we're like, well, let's use that. Let's go out to like a nice restaurant and go see a movie or something. So we're going to do that tonight, actually. Um, we're going to go out and eat some really expensive sushi 
It's going to be freaking fantastic. And then we're going to rent a movie and, and just watch a movie together. Then out of nowhere, my wife buys me a Valentine's Day present. And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. We're... Crap. Crap. <laughs> so she buys me this cologne, my favorite cologne. And I'm like, well, okay. And so then I'm like racking my brain trying to figure out, okay, what am I going to get my wife? Guys, I went, I ran the gamut. I went, I went all over the place from like handwritten note to a full blown puppy. So I spent a good few hours on Amazon and, and like different shopping websites and just looking at different things. And all of a sudden something clicked in me. It's like my brain took me back to a moment in history in which my subconscious locked away a memory of something that my wife would like. There's a, there's a girl that I work with, she's our project manager, and she was showing everybody this scarf that she got. And it's called a blanket scarf. It's literally a scarf that doubles as a blanket. The function is in the name of the product. Like, she was wearing it, and I was like, it looks really good. Like, I really like the way that looks, and I feel like my wife would really like that. But I knit, like, I didn't think that. It's like my subconscious just, like, figured that out. Just, like, kind of tucked that away, like, hey, that's a thing that girls like, is, is blanket scarves. So then I go and I look up blanket scarves, and I'm like, well, what, what, what's, what's in the world of blanket scarves? What, what do they have to offer? And so I ordered a blanket scarf, and it came, and I, I gave it to her yesterday, and I said, here's a Valentine's Day present, and I got her this thing. Her reaction was was something that like in the in, in the almost eight years that we've been married, I've never really experienced her do before, and it was this kind of like confusion, but like an excited confusion. Like I don't know what this is, and I don't like she had zero context for the gift because she'd never talked about it before, and she pulled it out and she was like, "Wait, is this uh is this?" And I was like, "Do you know what it is?" She's like. It's a blanket scarf. And I was like, yeah. She's like, I love blanket scarves. I've, I've been wanting one. I saw somebody at work had one and I thought it was so cool. And I was like, oh my God, I did it. I husband, I was a good husband. I did a thing where I made my wife happy by buying her a gift. It was, a, it was an experience I had never experienced before in my life. It just blew my mind. I'd never in my life experienced this moment where I had surprised my wife with a gift that she loved and didn't know she loved and didn't know she wanted. And I, I gave it to her and she wanted it. And she has it. And she's, she wore it today and it looks fantastic on her. Absolutely glorious. Great gift, Fultron. Good job. Thank you. So that's one of the things that I've had to learn in marriage is how to sit back for a little bit and just think about the other person's life. Like think about their life, think about who they are and what makes them tick so that I can better serve her and be there for her and, and, and provide her the things that are going to make her happy. It's, it's a new thing for me. Um, after eight years of being married, I'm finally figuring out how to make my wife happy. So, yay. So I don't know if that helps any of you guys. I don't know how many of you out there are married and struggle with, you know, gift giving and stuff like that. But when you find out that you have to get your wife a gift, or you find out you have to get your husband a gift, like just, just chill, just take a step back and just, just let the thoughts happen. Let the idea come to you. I've heard that uh, creativity is, is impossible without boredom. And I think, uh, a little side note, you know, in this world, in this day and age, it's so hard for us to be bored because we have so many things vying for our attention. And if you just take a moment and just kind of sit back and just let yourself be bored and let your brain start going on its own, it'll just come to you. It'll just come to your brain. That's my wisdom for the day. How to get a gift for your wife after almost eight years of marriage. Finally cracked the case. Cracked the code. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Uh, sorry I didn't get to do the whole like day in the life of thing. I, I will try to do that more, but this week was a little busy. Got a little out of hand. But you got a vlog nonetheless. Nonetheless, my friends. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time on Fultron in Nashville. Fultron out.